The Kogi State Governor, Yahya Bello, has administered oath of office on five returning appointees who initially resigned from his government to participate in the state governorship primaries. The appointees include his Chief of Staff, Abdul Karim Jamu, Commissioner for Finance, Budget and Economic Planning, Idris Ashiru, Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftain C Affairs, Didat Ozigi, Accountant General of the State, Shubrin uh, Momo, and the Audit Auditor General, Yakubo Okala, the Commissioner for Information and Communication Strategy, Kingsley Fanwo, who announced the development after the State Executive Council meeting, said Governor Bello talks to returning up on T's on loyalty and diligence. And the State Executive Council, it has approved uh, the bills for the uh, establishment of Kogi State University, Kaba, and all the matters connected 2023. State, the State Attorney General, has now been directed to transmit the bill or the bills to the State House of Assembly for consideration and passage into law. At a briefing in Lokoja, Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Wemi Jones, stated that a university law is one of the prerequisites for the National University Commission to recognize, to recognize and approve any established university in Nigeria. He said the state government is working towards getting NUC's approval for the institution as soon as possible. Up north in Bruno State, the Vice Chancellor of the State University has recommended massive investments in education to halt the rise in cr criminal activities and other vices in the country. The Vice Chancellor gave the recommendation at the fourth matriculation ceremony of the institution where he urged students to concentrate on innovative technology for economic development. TVC News, Jesse Tafida was there. To witness the fourth matriculation of the Brno State University, our academic dons and professors from different universities. The students met an oath to behave well while in the academic setting, in order to be considered honorable in character and learning. And undertake, and undertake to pursue learning and knowledge diligently to pursue learning and knowledge diligently. The school management and guests want the students to be committed in their academics. I implore the students to work very hard to graduate with good results so as for them to be on the graduation list. The matriculation also provides the opportunity for those vibrant students to pledge allegiance to the authority of the university through the administration of the oath. The matriculation oath will also require you to be conscientious in your studies, to be honest and truthful, and to protect the image of the university in good light. I implore the matriculants to imbibe the learning and reading culture, discipline, and strive to excellence with the oath which the oath represents. You become bona fide students of the Borno State University with all rights and privileges. Your names shall then be written in not even a mere viral, but in indelible marker. The newly inducted students promise to study hard to make their parents and the institution proud. 2,674 students were inducted into four faculties of sciences, arts and education, agriculture and management sciences. Integrity, Knowledge and dignity are academic virtues students of the Brno State University must imbibe to reach great academic heights for state and national glory. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri. And in Gombe State, the Academic Staff Union of Universities has offered full scholarship to a young lady born without both hands who gained admission to the state university. The gesture is a dream come true for the physically challenged Maryam Umar, who is the final odds to achieve her academic dream. Our correspondent, Larry Adeyemi, tells us more. In a region where many parents refuse to educate their children, girl child education is tough. What is even tougher is to see a girl child without hands in school. Miriam was born without hands. Refusing to beg, she insisted on getting Western education. She writes with her toes. She uses her legs for almost everything. After years of pain, hard work, rejection and ridicule, her dream of gaining a university education is in sight. 
poverty is the last standing obstacle. The Academic Staff Union of Universities has come to the rescue. Instead of going to beg, Mariam would sneak to school. When, when we saw that, we, we just believed that this is a case that Asu uh, should, should take off. And we, we got information that she gained admission into Kombe State University. And there were challenges with even the payment of school fees. They wanted 82,000 Naira from Mariam, and there was no 82,000 Naira. Asu is paying Mariam's tuition for the duration of her study and would also give her monthly upkeep. Aside from these, a brand new laptop and other educational items were given to this resilient undergraduate. An academic allowance, and it will be given on semester basis. This is for our first semester. We will continue. And we will continue subsequently for a period of I am very happy. The ASU, she gave me scholarship. She's not going to the, go and beg the money or oh, she only she going to school every day. ASU is well known for its activism and its demand for better welfare for university lecturers. It is not just important, but also strategically wise for unions to take up social causes, to build goodwill, and show that it is sensitive to the challenges of the larger society. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe. And finally on the news, a coalition of civil societies known as the Osho Masterminds warns President Bolatino Bo to expedite action on interventions that will cushion the effect of fuel subsidy removal on Nigerians. Addressing journalists in Osho Washington State, the executive director of the group, Wasiu Yedoku, said the fuel subsidy removal was long overdue. TVC News correspondent Rafiu Hamid reports. The hero of first subsidy is gone. However, Nigerians are expecting government's intervention that will cushion the effects of the removal of the subsidy. At this monthly State of the State address by the Osho Masterminds, Professor Wasiu Uyudokun commended the President for taking the bold step and called for the revival of the country's refineries. Subsidy removal. We must commend the bravery of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu in removing the free subsidy once and for all. Free subsidy has been used over the years by corrupt public office holders to embrace our commonwealth and consequently keep the nation on its knees. The bold removal shows that President Tinubu is willing and ready to take the difficult decisions for the growth and development of our dear country and our people. If in over 20 years we have failed as a nation to properly run a refinery as government owned, then it's expected that such refineries should be let into the hands of individuals who are businessmen properly to do this, while a percentage of this is agreeable to, to, to the federal government. The group also wants the president to probe various ministries, departments, and agencies under the last administration while designing approaches to reach people in the informal sector towards cushioning the effect of the subsidy remover on them. Probe of parasitas Ministry, departments, and agencies under the previous government. Corruption almost crippled our dear nation. Some public office orders under that government robbed the nation blind and are today working freely. We call on the government of President Tinubu to commission an immediate probe of MDAs, ministries, departments, and agencies with a view to recouping embezzled funds and channeling them towards life easy for the common man. They also cautioned the Ocean State Governor against empowering non-state actors that would disrupt peaceful atmosphere in the state. Whatever anybody might have done for the governor or the government in bringing them to power, they can be politically compensated. There's room for political compensation. Nobody is arguing that. But you cannot continue as a government to have romance with non-state actors and get away with it. A time will come, they will become authority to themselves, that they will even want to struggle power with you as a duly elected representative of the people. Rafael Hamid, TVC News, Ushubo.